Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Thousands are confused by the recent devastating storm in Germany. Is this a natural disaster or a sign from heaven? In this episode, I'll explain. Please like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Let's dive in. Germany recently faced a fierce storm, with tornadoes tearing through the landscape and uprooting historic trees. Strong winds shook skyscrapers, while torrential rains flooded the streets, leaving chaos in their wake. The city became deserted, with flickering street lights illuminating the darkness. What sets this storm apart is the terrifying shape it took. A fire dragon appeared amid the dark clouds, spewing fire and smoke, showcasing nature's immense power against humanity's fragility. Thunder crackled with vibrant sparks, lighting up the sky, as villagers braced for impact. Hailstones fell like stones from another world, wreaking havoc on roofs and streets. Trees trembled, and flowers scattered under the storm's wrath. The noise of hail and wind created a nightmarish scene, with the earth shaking uncontrollably as destruction spread, damaging historic structures along the way. Natural disasters, such as violent storms and earthquakes, have severe consequences. First, they lead to human loss, with thousands or even millions facing death, injury, and emotional trauma. Families are torn apart, communities are devastated, and regional economies suffer greatly. Second, infrastructure and the environment are damaged, with homes, roads, bridges, and utilities destroyed or severely impacted. Ecosystems also suffer, as historical forests are devastated and animal species decline, resulting in water and land pollution. Let us pray for Germany. Dear God, we come to you in this time of anxiety. Germany is facing fierce storms and earthquakes. Please grant strength and comfort to the people during these difficult times. Protect Germany from natural disasters and bring peace and stability. We pray in your name, Amen. Recently, a man shared a TikTok clip of a bizarre event in Mexico just minutes before a severe earthquake. Strange sounds and unusual weather were recorded, including a loud thumping noise and flashes of red and blue light that plunged the street into darkness. An extraordinarily loud siren followed, causing fear among witnesses. While there's no clear explanation for this event, it may indicate that the end times are near, as similar signs were observed during an earthquake in Germany. This seems more than coincidental, the signs of the end times are evident, heralding extraordinary events that challenge human understanding. These occurrences remind us of impending judgment and the need for vigilance. As prophesied in the scriptures, the sixth seal in Revelation depicts celestial upheaval and earthly turmoil during the Great Tribulation. Each seal unveils cataclysmic events described in apocalyptic language beyond human comprehension. The opening of the sixth seal reveals earthquakes shaking the world while the sun, moon, and stars undergo dramatic changes, signaling divine judgment. These celestial signs, foretold by ancient prophets, herald the day of reckoning, a time when the righteous will be vindicated and the wicked will face consequences. As we navigate these turbulent times, it's essential to understand the spiritual significance of these signs. They are not just omens of doom but symbols of hope for those who trust in the Lord. The Apostle Paul reminds us that our struggle is against spiritual forces of evil, urging us to stand firm in adversity. Amid the chaos, the message of Revelation resonates with urgency. The sounding of trumpets signals the final battle between good and evil, leading to the ultimate triumph of righteousness. Yet, even in the darkest times, 
hope remains for those who stay faithful to the end. As believers, we are called to interpret signs of the times with spiritual discernment, seeing them as divine invitations for repentance and renewal. The urgency of returning to God is clear through the consequences of sin. In conclusion, the signs of the end times should inspire us to embrace God's sovereignty and the promise of redemption. While we await the fulfillment of prophecy, we must stand firm in faith, knowing our redemption is near. The second coming of Jesus Christ, a central belief for Christians, signifies his return to establish his kingdom and judge the world. The Bible provides many prophecies about his return, and understanding them is vital for living according to God's will. Old Testament prophecies about the Messiah's second coming include Daniel 7 verses 13 to 14, which depicts his eternal dominion, and Isaiah 11 verses 1 to 10, which describes his reign in peace. In the New Testament, Matthew 24 verses 30 to 31 speaks of the Son of Man coming in glory, while 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17 describes the rapture of the church. Signs preceding Jesus' return include wars, famines, and natural disasters, along with an increase in wickedness and the preaching of the gospel to all nations. Upon his return, the dead in Christ will rise, and those alive will be caught up to meet the Lord. This will be followed by a seven-year tribulation, characterized by turmoil and the rise of the Antichrist, culminating in Jesus defeating evil and establishing his reign on earth. Believing in the second coming offers hope and reassurance, urging us to live in a way that honors God. To stay motivated and accountable, we should read the Bible, pray regularly, and engage with fellow believers. As we await his return, let us remain steadfast in our faith and purpose. Psalm 24 verses 9 to 10 reminds us to prepare for the King of Glory, who will reign forever. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.